1978, November 3rd, Eastern Caribbean Airways Flight 912, a Piper chieftain flown by Irving Rivers, arriving at St. Thomas from St. Croix, vanished after being sighted by the control tower, and no trace was ever found. The Piper PA-31 Navajo is a family of twin-engined utility aircraft designed and built by Piper Aircraft for small cargo and feeder airlines, and as a corporate aircraft. Production ran from 1967 to 1984. It was licensed built in a number of Latin American countries. In 1962, Piper began developing a 6 to 8 C twin engined corporate and commuter transport aircraft under the project name Inca, at the request of company founder William T. Piper. Looking like a scaled up PA 30 twin Comanche, the PA 31 made its first flight on 30 September 1964, and was announced later that year. It is a low-wing monoplane with a conventional tail, powered by two 310 horsepower, 231 kilowatt, Lycoming Shio 540A, turbocharged engines in Tiger Shark Cowlings, a feature shared with the twin Comanche and the PA-23 Aztec. As testing proceeded, Two cabin windows were added to each fuselage side and the engines were moved further forward. The PA-31, named Navajo after the Native American tribe, was certified by the F.A.A. on 24 February 1966, again in mid-1966 with an increase in maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, from 6,200 to 6,500 pounds. 2,812 to 2,948 kilograms, and deliveries began in 1967. The PA-31-300 was certified by the F.A.A. in June 1967, the only variant without turbocharged engines, 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatt, like arming IO-540M1A. Five engines driving two bladed propellers. Unofficially, the initial model was referred to as the PA 31310. Only 14 PA 31300 were built in 1968 and 1969, the smallest variant production. In January 1966, development of the PA 31P pressurized Navajo had begun, Piper's first pressurized aircraft. The PA 31P, or PA, 31P-425 unofficially, was certified in late 1969. It was powered by 425 horsepower, 317 kilowatt, like arming Tygo 541E engines, had a longer nose, fewer and smaller windows, 25 US gallon, 95 liter, fuel tanks in the engine nasals and a one-piece Airster cabin entry door instead of the split pair of doors. MTOW was increased to 7,800 pounds, 3,538 kilograms. The PA-31P was produced from 1970 to 1977. The 1971 Navajo B featured air conditioning, new storage lockers in the rear of the engine nasals, increased baggage space, a third door next to the cabin doors for easier baggage loading, and an optional separate door for the pilot to enter the cockpit. In September 1972, Piper unveiled the PA-31350 Navajo Chieftain, a Navajo be stretched by 2 feet, 61 centimeters, for up to 10 seats, with more powerful engines and counter-rotating propellers to prevent critical engine handling problems. The Chieftain was powered by 350 horsepower, 261 kilowatt, like arming Shio 540 variants with an opposite rotation L Shio 540 on the right-hand wing, and dem toe was increased to 7,000 pounds, 3,175 kilograms. Delivery started in 1973, after a delay due to a flood caused by Hurricane Agnes at Piper's factory in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. The 1974, P.A. 31325 Navajo CR was based on the Navajo B. The Navajo CR had 325 horsepower, 242 kilowatt, lower rated versions of the Chieftain's counter-rotating engines. It was certified in May 1974, 
and production commenced in the 1975 model year. The Navajo B was also superseded in 1975 by the Navajo C.P.A. 31350 Chieftain. Stretched version of the Navajo with more powerful 350 horsepower, 261 kilowatt, counter rotating engines, a Lycoming Shio 540 and a Lycoming L Shio 540, to eliminate critical engine issues. On November 3, 1978, Eastern Caribbean Airways Flight 912, a Piper Chieftain flown by Irving Rivers, arrived at St. Thomas from St. Croix and vanished after being sighted by the control tower. No trace has ever been found.